Taking you live now to Canberra, the shadow climate change and energy minister Ted O'Brien responding to the deal the government has struck with the Greens on the safeguard mechanism legislation. Steer the economy as a government, let industry and enterprise go, government dictates. I have no confidence in the Labor government dictating the Australian economy. They've sought to do that since they have come in. Certainly in the portfolio area I look after, it has been an unmitigated disaster. We have seen prices skyrocketing like never before. And this is a government that came to the Australian people and promised a $275 reduction in household power bills. Now, they have been going up by hundreds of dollars right across Australia. And we found out just over a week ago that somewhere between 20 and 34 per cent, they're going to rise again for Australian households the second half of this year. This government breaks promises. It cannot deliver on its on and any economic management it has proposed, and I have no faith that they will be able to get this right. Ryan, um, many of the technologies that would help us reduce our carbon emissions are yet to be realised. So what is the alternative that you would provide? And if so, what would be so different to this one when businesses are already pushing the government to actually go ahead with the safeguard mechanism? Well, most of the businesses I have spoken to have had grave concerns about, about this mechanism, grave concerns. And that is because they know that it is going to cost them more. Now, there are different groups here. You will have um, some industries that will say they are OK with a safeguard mechanism reform, a carbon tax. Those industries that say they're OK typically plan to pass on the costs to consumers. And so they themselves, as businesses, are not the ones that are carrying the burden but the voice of the consumer, the voice of the household, the voice of mum and dad that are struggling to make ends meet, the voice of the seniors who don't know whether they can heat their house or cook the dinner at night. That's the voice that we need to have heard in this debate. They, they, will, be, they will be the ones bearing the cost. Now, there will be other businesses, other businesses that simply cannot hold the cost. They can't pass it on and they can't compete in a market. They're the businesses that will be at risk of closing down. And now that we have this, this hard cap on growth agreed with the Greens, they're the same businesses that probably won't be able to grow in Australia. So future growth of those sectors we will see in higher emitting countries like India and China. And we have to remember this is a global challenge of climate change, a global challenge. How do we do our bit if all we're doing is offshoring it to higher emitting countries that are going to make it even worse. I think it's rank hypocrisy on the part of both Labor and the Greens. Leave that there. That debate will go through the day as well and I'm sure it will feature prominently in question time.